How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. I want to apologize really quick about the glare behind me. It's daytime. There's nothing I can really do about it. But this video you clicked on because it's how to get your auctions to sell slash more importantly, how to sell them, meaning how to sell them to get the most coins possible. I hope this video is helpful for you. If it is, please feel free to give it a like. Let's aim for 100 likes. I would appreciate that a lot. And final announcement, I'll be streaming tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be lit. We're going to be doing some dope stuff. So come through. All right. So just to give you, first off, I want to make this like really, really important to, to be able to understand. It is harder to sell cards in this game now. Simple. Scott the bot, if you don't know what that is, like the auction house bot, makes it harder to sell cards. It takes longer and they sell less frequently. You should be happy. So I'm going to show you guys. I, this is no, like I posted a bunch of cards. They now expired. I waited for them to expire. I didn't change any of them. I didn't collect any of them. And I'm going to show you guys how much sold and how much didn't. Okay. You should shoot, I would say, for about 40 through 70% of your cards selling. That's like a good amount. If like 60% of your cards sell, you should be happy. Like with that one post or whatever. Obviously, it depends what you're posting. If you're trying to sell an 85 overall elite, it's going to be much harder to sell compared to if you're trying to sell a simple 75, okay? But for the main part, if 60% of your cards sell, you're doing something right. Like that's fine. Like people DM me and like, dude, I posted this card twice. He's not selling. I'm like, dude, that's... A little bit normal like maybe you're doing something wrong but for the most part that's kind of how this game works it's gonna take a few tries you do need patience so let's go let's show you guys my auction so the easy cards sold uh, probably some of these got bought out then we keep going now we're getting into some not selling granted these, see these are the harder ones so an 80 overall a 79 kicker uh, these two halfbacks that I put at a pretty high price so they're probably not gonna sell this 77 safety and the 77 corner are both put at reasonable prices like that's what they're priced at they just didn't sell. I got unlucky. I'm not going to change his price. The other ones, you know, like this Josh Jacobs, maybe I'll lower the price on. But the other two, like, I'm fine. It's whatever. I got unlucky. My 78 O guard sold. Uh, the 76 I put for too much. Uh, 75 for 42K. I'm not going lower than 42K. Like, that's what a 75 is worth. I got unlucky. It's not a big deal. As you see, a 75 right next to him sold. Um, same thing with that 75. Then the 74, one sold, one didn't. It is what it is. More selling this 77 O guard. I overpriced. I'll undo. Um, Allen Robinson did not sell, and Jones Smith for a really high price didn't sell. Okay. So as you can see, I would say about maybe 60%, maybe 50% of my cards that I posted this round uh, sold. So let's talk about how I'm going to repost them. So I'll go ahead and press dismiss all. Get a nice little 800k. Sorry, the camera's kind of blurry. Okay, we're good. So let's talk about reposting. Um, Jalen Smith is probably not the best example to start. Actually, wait, there's more of them up. Last time I tried to post him, there was none up. So that didn't give me a lot to work with. Now there's five. So I like to keep my bid very, very close to my buy now. Usually I keep it one coin under. As you saw there, a couple of my cards sold for like 29999 And I'll get into why that happens in a bit. So always keep your bid incredibly close to your buy now. Whether you want to do one coin or a few coins, whatever. And then the general rule for undercutting I like to undercut by a few percentage points. So like to give you an idea, if I'm selling an elite and he's up for, we'll do an elite right here. TJ Watt, 220K, I'll put mine up for 210K. So it depends on the card, how much you want to undercut. Whereas like, you know, a base gold, I'm not going to undercut by 10K. I'm going to undercut by, you know, 1K, just a few percentage points. Don't do big undercuts because you're just selling yourself short in hopes to get your card to sell faster. It's not worth it. So right here. 94k okay i'll put mine up for 90k so just a few a few thousand underneath you don't need to go directly underneath but you also need to put it you know 80k don't don't do stuff like that you're just selling yourself short and missing out on free coins okay so how does selling cards works how did your cards get bought pretty much from my understanding this was how it worked last year and i'm working the same assessment that this is how it's working this year when you post a card a similar version of your card will get posted i believe that's what we're doing this year correct if i'm wrong in the comments Either way, it's not that important. Here's how you'll get your coins, okay? Your card is either going to get bought out within the first 25 minutes. So say I put a card up and I put him up for a good price. Like, you know, somebody wanted him, he sold quick. Okay, say I put this Joe Mixon up for 90K and someone wanted him and he sold really quick, okay? I will receive my buy now current like price pretty quickly within the first 25 minutes, okay? If he doesn't get bought within the first, you know, 25, 30 minutes, it's, it's going to go all the way down. Okay, so you go all the way down to about the hour mark. Once you hit the hour mark, this is just what I've noticed personally. There's another chance for your card to get bought. There's a very rare chance, but sometimes at the hour mark, I notice I get the buy now price. Otherwise, about 
60% of the cards that I sell get bid on, which is why I have my bid price one coin beneath my buy now price. Because, you know, if you put the bid price super far apart, say I'm trying to sell, sell this guy right here who is 75K, if I go like this and then put my bid at 50K and he gets bid on, I'm selling myself short of 20K. When in reality, the bot or whatever you want to call it will gladly bid on my card for one coin underneath, which I think is really stupid, by the way. And I wish EA would do something about that. But it is what it is. So that's why I always keep my bid one underneath because it doesn't matter. Either way, your card will just get bid on. So bid price, I always put one coin or very close to the buy now price. And then when will your card get bid on? So sorry about that. You'll notice your card getting bid on. Usually around the 50 minute mark is when I first notice my cards start getting bid on. So this Josh Allen has a chance anytime after that. He can... Like my Brandon Sheriff still could get bid on. If somebody bought this card right now, even though it's you know not a great price, it will get a bid on. But otherwise, at about the 50 minute mark and onward, between the 50 and 40 minute mark is when I notice the most bid ons. Sorry, it's weird. Um, that's when I notice my card's getting bid on the most, but they can get bid on at any point in time. So most of the time though, when selling your cards, it's gonna take you the full four hours, which is frustrating because if they get bid on, obviously you can't like claim bid, you have to wait it out which is annoying, but it's whatever. You kind of have to get used to it. It's just how the way it is. So most of these cards, for all I know, could have already sold. Like this Rex Burkhead, I'm fairly confident it's going to sell for 45K. He's just going to get bid on for 44999 That's just the way the game is. So final tip about selling your cards. Maybe we can get another live example. Let's see if I can get a snipe, actually. I don't know when the round drop is, but let's see. Giving you guys another free filter. I was thinking about doing a live sniping video where i get like snipes live on camera put a bunch of collage together like you know i'll sit down record for like an hour of me getting snipes edit it all if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments we could give that a try but i get this a lot my birdie this card i'm trying to sell isn't up on the auction house here's my advice to you number one compare it to i wanted i wish i had an example right here on my bench i'm assuming all these cards have uh people up yep they all do right Maybe you don't. Okay, so there's only one up. So here's what you do. Say you're trying to sell, I don't know, let's pick a random tight end. 78 tight end. Who do we got here? Say you have Austin Hooper and you're trying to sell him, okay? And there's, you know, only one other up. Oh, there's only one other. And he's up for 180K. And you don't know how realistic of a price that is, okay? A few options you can do. Number one, just compare him to other similar 79, other... Uh, overall position so other 79 tight ends so Austin Hooper and Gronk are both same rating Gronk's going for about 170k I can make the reasonable judgment that Austin Hooper is probably close to 170k as well okay now this method does not always work because with skill positions this is really important speed comes into effect so for an example Austin Hooper 76 speed Gronk 75 speed doesn't matter that much but like Tyreek Hill for instance why did it autocorrect? Tyreek Hill is incredibly fast. As a result, he does not go for the average price of a 79 receiver. He goes for 240K. I can assure you other 79 receivers aren't going for this much. So if you're selling a halfback, a wide receiver, a little bit of a QB, maybe it's like a really dope QB, uh, tight end, middle linebacker, stuff that speed people care about, like middle linebacker people care about their speed, stuff like that, that's when you want to pay attention to that and perhaps consider pricing it more so those are the two key things okay so number one just compare it to other players of its you know genre whatever you want to call it other position there we go genre i don't know so if you're trying to sell a 78 ot compare it to other 78 ot's determine what their price is oh 78 o tackles are usually going for about 100k there's probably not much variance here like i'm pretty confident these most of these guys are just worth 100k you know no, no one should be worth way more than another maybe there's a slight difference but for the most part 78 o tackle i would sell it for about 100,000 coins okay wide receiver halfback stuff like that that's where speed's going to come into effect and the final uh variance potentially is for some unknown reason and these are the three cards that i know sell for way more than their position not because they're fast i think it's because they have an upgrade leonard fournette is a 76 halfback i sold mine for 100k at my and like at his prime right now he's going for 80k i'm assuming it's because he goes into this upgrade set i haven't actually looked at the set because i'm lazy uh another one is anthony barr i sold this guy for 100k he has a 76 gold card 
incredibly rare, goes for way more than other 76 linebackers for whatever reason. I don't know if he has an upgrade. I don't know what it is. And um, there's one other 76. I don't know. There's one other one that has like an upgrade or whatever. Maybe it's, is it Joe Hayden? No. There's one other 76 that goes for like way more than it should. I'm blanking on it now and I apologize about that. But those are the only times there's really major variance. Otherwise, when you're trying to sell your cards and there's none up on it or there's very li limited amounts uh, of your card you're trying to post up, just compare it to other skills, other, I'm blanking, dude, other positions at that rating. Okay, I think you guys are getting what I'm trying to say. And for the most part, yeah, don't undercut too hard, guys. Don't sell yourself too short. So I'll do right here, 66K, 65,999. One coin underneath, and you should be golden. Your card should sell about 60% of the time. That's what you want. That's a good good ratio with this year's game. Yes, okay, I want a final thing I'm gonna say. You could sell your cards quicker. If you wanted to go like this and put these cards up for really cheap, I'm sure they would sell more frequently, but don't do it. It's just not worth it. Why would I willingly give up 15,000 coins per card just to get my card to sell faster. It's not worth it. So at the end of the day, have patience when you're selling your cards and you'll be golden and just realize that it's gonna take some time. So hope this video helped. I'm sorry that I rambled a little bit in this one. I don't know, lost my train of thought a few times. It happens. I will be streaming tonight, 10 p.m. Like I said, maybe I'll upload a second video tonight. We'll see if I can think of something. I'll do it, but I will see you boys in the next one.